Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we do have some a new Ooh, 2600. Atari 2600 game Very tonight, nice. along with, uh, well, an exclusive world premiere, yeah. along with some other new 2600 games. Uh, we have Alien Holocaust, the exclusive world premiere by Bitnamic Software uh, nice. and Fernando Salvio, who is in the chat, Excellent. I believe. I wore my Galaga shirt because we were talking about aliens today. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are <laughs> alien related. Yes. Um, we're also going to be playing Fetch, uh, Snake Fiasco, and Top and Tom. Mm -hmm. All 2600 games. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, mm -hmm. every single one of them, mm -hmm. including Alifer, ArenaFoot, Arkham H7, Armscar Coder, Atari 974, Atari H, Atari Patch, Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Captain Man 2D, Charles and Jack, Charles Wheel and Colonel Lanama, Dan, ABC, Dr. Mukaz, Emmy Dan, Go for Man, Great Defender, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Lauren TTZ, Mark Ian is Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Solmit, Clitel, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic Packard, PG Koalgar, 70 Render Ghost of Hunters, PG Ricardo, Pim, Six, six Sweet, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, the D Train, The Lost Cartridge, Welshman, TD, Dan K, Thrust 26, TM Events 2600, X Can X, and just before the show, Rendered Ghost gave Chelsea Donnie Mao a, uh, a month yeah. of subs. So that is very, very nice. Um, and we're also going to be playing fetch with yeah. the cat. With the cats. <laughs> with the cats. Oh. Oh, another Yay. subscriber. Thank you, Miss Command. Thank you, Miss Command. Um, the cats do play fetch. <laughs> Not very yes. often, but they do. Actually, the gray cat likes fetch. Yeah. He has a lot of toys. He'll bring his toys oh, out to so play. Many toys. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Um, and you can support the show like Miss Command did yes. uh, by clicking subscribe somewhere. Oh, no, you, you tell, hit subscribe. <laughs> I have no idea. No, and when and when then, you get yeah, the choice of yeah, paying for the subscription or subscribing with Prime, if you're a Prime member, so... Right. <clears throat> so when you sub, it gives you the <clears throat> option. Of There's a checkbox, if I recall. Amazon Prime. So you yeah. can, it, it'll it'll prompt you to pay, and then there's a box that says pay with your Prime oh, okay. subscription. Okay, so it is fairly so. easy, though. Yeah, it's not too um, bad. And thank you for that? following Fernando Salvio. Yay. Um, I have a poll question tonight, and it is... Hmm. Have you ever sold any part of your game collection? Ooh... Uh, I have not. I have not sold one item ever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the house is full <sighs> of yes. games. Uh, and that's the option for number one. <laughs> uh, never sold one item. Uh, oh my. So I have to put that. That's in. not entirely true. Uh, you Well, okay. You've sold consoles. Well, you've sold okay, consoles. I, but not games, I guess. I have... I've, I've, I sold... A Vectrex a long time ago. You sold a Vectrex. Because I, I got, I bought a bundle that included a Vectrex and a bunch of things I was missing. And I was like, I don't need three. Well, I need three Vectrexes. That'd be wonderful. I don't have room for three Vectrexes. <laughs> that um, try. That, that try. would be probably the only thing I've ever okay. sold is that I, one Vectrex. You haven't sold games at all. Oh, no. Even duplicates? Tiny. You haven't bought They're tiny. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no need. No, I, I've given away <laughs> things like for prizes and stuff. That's but true. You have I've really sold. Yeah. Um, number two, sold things here and there, which I picked because I did sell one item, I guess, because I've never sold. I can't mm -hmm. say I've never sold one item. Uh, number three, sold full sections. Now, I mean, what I mean by that is like, oh, I just was not interested in NES games or mm. whatever. And I sold all my NES games, but I kept all the rest. Yeah. Rather than like, oh, that game here and there, just like a whole chunk. A whole like, chunk of them, yeah. Whatever, it's gone. <laughs> Not interest anymore. And yeah. four, sold everything at one point. That doesn't mean you didn't buy stuff back, but you like, you know, for some reason you're yeah. moving across the country or to a different country and you're just like, I can't bring all this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to sell it all here. <clears throat> It costs more money to move it than yeah. to rebuy it or whatever. Or you thought genuinely that you wouldn't be interested yeah. in it and, and you sold it and regretted it and started buying it back. <laughs> and you hear stories about that all yeah. the time where it's like, oh, yeah, at one point I, I just got rid of everything. And, yeah. and then they're like, oh, I wish I didn't. <laughs> and you buy it all back or, you know, you go into university or something. Mm. Like, I have to study. I have to get rid of my games. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of games we've acquired by people having kids. Yeah, I, 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 the number of times someone's them. like, "I'm selling this whole collection." You're like, "Wow, that's a lot of games." They're like, "We're having a baby," and it's yes. like, "Ah, uh, they need money not, and room." <laughs> and the room that you had your game collection in is now a nursery. There you go. <laughs> 
So yeah. there you go. Uh, mail news and feedback. Not much here. A YouTube comment uh, after mm. we played that duck race game. Yeah. Um, a Domish Tan said. So cute. Said. Duckathlon. Duckathlon. <laughs> and I said, now that I definitely want a game called Duckathlon. I do. Uh, swimming and flying have to be some of the events. Oh my god! Can you imagine those cute little ducks? Oh, they'd be so Competing cute. in the water or flying around obstacles. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah. Duckathlon. Duckathlon. That's I like that. free idea. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> Not that you guys need any. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's it. Not not much has happened. McMew says his parents made Foul him sell play. everything if he <gasps> wanted the next console. Yeah, that wow. does happen. A lot of people I knew growing up, they would sell everything. Like, yeah. literally, okay, the Super Nintendo's out, NES goes. But, it's old and useless. I'm going to buy all the new stuff, use all the money to buy new games and consoles. But it's not necessarily that it's old and useless, because if you're selling it while it's still relevant, you'll get a lot more money back. Oh, and if you yes. don't have a lot of money to... That's the right time to do it. That's the time to do it. And that, I mean, let's face it, that's what a lot of people do with technology. Yeah. They sell their iPhone blah. Yes. Right when the new one comes out, because that old one still has some value, but in ten years it won't. So it's like, yeah. so like there is a little bit of method to the madness and, and there. And computer systems but, as well. Uh, I mean, those are a little different. The phones and computers, because the new computer and the new phone yeah. can run all the old stuff. Uh, yeah. Very few consoles could run the old console. Yeah. So stuff. it's like, like all or nothing kind of thing. It's like seven eight hundred could run twenty six hundred. Yeah. Xbox 360 could run Xbox, but yeah, and uh, PS3, yeah. PS PlayStation was pretty good about that actually running old games. Yeah, um, but did you oh, ever play them though? Man, uh, probably not. Yeah, yeah, not so much until you got into the retro and started really going back in the nostalgia. Yeah. But uh, I'm down with either oh, <laughs> Duckathlon, like coated Duck in Athlon. spicy. There we go. <laughs> Somebody's got to make it. Yeah, it's just it's just ducks. Doing doing duck things, yeah. competing, doing the duck duck yeah. things. Uh, okay. What prompted your poll question? I have too many games. Uh, Are you thinking room. about selling some? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, some I don't ever. I don't really. I didn't really have interest in. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a lot of the games are on other systems as well. Yeah. And I have multi carts. I can play them on if yeah. I want to. It's just I'm just not interested in some of the systems. Um, a lot of them I'm still very interested no, in. No, no, and I don't think you'd sit, sell anything you would, you're would. you really like no. actively playing. But It would um, be Genesis, my Sega Genesis yeah. collection. Not which interested. I never really had interest in Sega Genesis. There's a couple games I like, but I can still play them on the emulator. Not on the emulator, on the, on the SD cart. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'll probably sell those. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe. I'll buy your backup <laughs> Vectrex. No. <laughs> if I have a, don't have a backup Vectrix, then what then happens? Then what happens? If, yeah, if it the, breaks. Re, the, the original one goes down. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's one of the few consoles I have two mm. of. Yeah, I mean I have a ton of twenty six hundreds. People lining up for my Vectrix. Yeah. <laughs> no, I already sold one. Oh, it's hot in here. I got to open the window. All right. Oh, oh Miss uh, Command says one of the moves in the game has to be ducking. Yes, I think there oh, should be a duck duck yes. goose in there as well it's hurdles except instead of jumping them you duck oh, under them gosh. right yeah 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 yeah. duck hurdles yeah oh my goodness it just writes itself it just writes itself carl G. what if both go down you should have a third that, that was, was his original that's my <laughs> argument yeah. but it's room it's room mm. um so <laughs> we are going to actually we can take a look at the results here uh, in first place, 35% sold full sections of I'm games. not surprised, actually. Sense. I think people kind of go, I like this, I don't have space for that, or like they yeah. just, they'll do a big... Purge. A purge, yeah. and it's like, you kind of like having all the games for your system, even if you don't play them all, but yeah. if you're not interested, as you say, like in your Genesis, yeah. it makes more sense to sell it as a, as a, as a lot. And second but. place, sold things here and there. Third place, never sold one item. 23%. Wow. Wow. People are <clears throat> big hoarders here. And uh, sold everything at one, uh, at one time. Uh, 11%. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Fairly even across yeah. the board. Yeah. A little bit everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. 
so the first game tonight out of four is mm. Alien Holocaust, and we're lucky enough to have the exclusive world premiere Yay. of this. Um, this is by Bitnamic Software, mm -hmm. um, made by Fernando Bruce Salvio. Yes, Bruce. he's in the chat. He's in the chat. Yeah, thank you uh, for welcome. joining. Um, so this was first hinted at June 16th, 2022. It was mm -hmm. announced on June 29th. Uh, a playable demo mm -hmm. uh, wasn't released at that point uh, on August 21st at the Channel 3 Expo in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Nice. It's a Brazilian game, nice. by the way. Nice. And the pre-sale started for this 18 days ago um, on September 2nd. You can order it at bitnamic.com.br if you like it. Mm -hmm. uh, pff, I did not translate how much this was. It's 249 uh, real Brazilian dollars. I no idea of the conversion rate for the box game and the DVD of the movie because it's based on a movie. Nice. And Fernando was the star in the movie. Oh my goodness. Um, so, and That's so very he exciting. programmed the game and you can get it for 219 real dollars uh, for just the game itself. Um, oh, I should have asked, asked, did you regret selling the games as well? Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> a separate, that's a separate poll. We Old Shell says, I regret selling my Genesis and Lynx. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would regret. That. I don't think I'll regret selling the Genesis. I mean, games. I think it's sad my dad got rid of our Commodore 64. Well, that is sad. Oh. Um, he, we had wonderful controllers and I had a Koala pad, which I loved. I did. I love the Koala paint I and all that. that. You have didn't a I, didn't I buy the Koala Pad? I think pad? you have a Koala Pad. Or is it something? Oh, it's for the Atari. Oh, it's maybe. It's equivalent. It's the same and yeah. probably, and it works the same because it works like a mouse. Yeah. So you could plug it into the C64. Yeah. Um, Binamic also sells MSX games, ZX Spectrum, and PC games as well. Mm. So the film, Alien Holocaust, the same name, mm. came out in 2011. Um, it was written, shot, and edited by Marcus uh, Vinic Vinicius uh, Garrett. Garrett Chiado from Bitnamic Software, who sent over the binary of the game to nice, me. Nice. And we're going to take a <clears throat> very short look at it uh, with it muted because it has music, so we can't mm. really play the music. Um, it is narrated like a Twilight Zone. Oh, episode. nice, 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 uh, nice. And they did a pretty good job on the voice. Mm. Uh, oh, why is that not showing the right monitor? Let me just redo that. There we go. So I'm just going to show a tiny bit. You guys can watch it on your own. Just, uh, oh, you have to search for that. <laughs> Holocausto e Alien Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> and it was shot on Super 8. Nice. Uh, film. So I don't know why there's a yellow. yellow Border, that's it. okay. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Nope. So there's the title. Shot on Super 8. So it looks and feels like, there, there's the name. So we'll just jump ahead a little bit into the action. We won't show the whole thing being made. Oh, no, it's 11 minutes long. So, but check check out the look of it. Um, and they've got like a uh, period correct. Um, actually, maybe I can try. A little man known by the name of Bruce. A small creature from a pair yeah, it's got music. Um, <laughs> but you could hear some of the narration there. Mm. Um, and he's dressed kind of 1950s, so it's like a monster movie 1950s style. Like that, hor that kind of horror sci-fi. Yeah, sci horror yeah, sci-fi. Nice. And that's kind of the realm it's in. But uh. it's also, I would say, in the realm of experimental okay. as well. And it really is good at setting the mood. Mm. Um, I don't think anybody says anything in the film. I'm pretty sure they don't. I mean, there's there. It looks like there's a few subtitles there, but uh, yeah. it's it's narrated. Portuguese, you said? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, it's narrated here and there. Mm. And goes off <clears> in the <throat> woods. I get, the game w follows. Then he finds a house, and then we will stop it after he finds okay. the house. We're not going to give it all away. No, no. I do like the black and white. It like, is super great. Great footage is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. This is a cemetery street, Fernando says. A like you could see the cemetery oh, in the background. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. Only, Only the narrator. narrator. Gotcha. So I'm going to paste the uh, link. There we go. Because you might have some trouble um, searching for it if you're not, if you don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, and they're also, they're doing a follow-up. Alien Holocaust 2 is also planned, but not completed yet. Mm -hmm. A video trailer for the game was released on August 9th, 2022. 
Um, in the second one, you're an alien UFO where you bomb cities, helicopters, mm -hmm. tanks, trains, and abduct humans and cows. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so this is an exclusive world premiere. All right, let's get to it. Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, I'm sure mm. they went for that feel. Mm -hmm. Ready. I, I strongly believe black and white is always scarier than color. It is. It <laughs> there's just, just something about it. Especially if there's Ominous, high contrast. Ominous, dark. And, yeah, exactly. And the darks are really dark yeah. because there's no color whatsoever. But you're right, Night of the Living Dead, like... Oh, it's yeah. great stuff. It captures that feel to it. It's all shadows, exactly. Okay, go for it. Let's load it up. Now I've got instructions here. I like instructions. Yes, they're good. <gasps> alien Holocaust. Oh, look at that uh, octopus type alien. You guys really. That's a great little animation. Oh. oh, okay. We do want to start on game zero. Okay. Um. Conceived and programmed by Fernando Bruce Salvio, based on the short film of the same name, published by Bitnavic Software 2022. Pre-order yours at bitnavic.com.br. Uh, Bruce is an ordinary human being, exactly what they're looking for. Ah. The year is 1960. <clears throat> there mm -hmm. we go. Bruce has an ordinary life. His job, his family, but something extraordinary is about to happen. Mm. In Alien Holocaust, you control Bruce, who's being pursued by extraterrestrials. There are four distinct stages with different gameplay in each. Insert the cartridge and turn on the Atari. Difficulty and color switches are not used. Uh, on the title screen, you can choose to play from the beginning, game zero, mm. or jump directly to the level you prefer. And if we're useless at the game, we will. then we'll jump to the <laughs> other ones. Yeah. Um, just use the joystick. The best score will be attained by playing the four levels in sequence. That makes a lot of sense without losing both lives in the second part. Hmm. Okay, the road. I'll read it out before you play it. Okay, okay. Um, Bruce is returning <clears throat> from work on the dark road when he spots a light in the sky. What would that glow be? In this level, the objective is to dodge the projectiles that the UFOs shoot, as well as avoid the onslaught of the spacecraft and dodge the aliens that invade the road. The joystick moves the car in four directions. The button activates the horn. Mm. Bruce has a little choice but to dodge the ship's attack. If you are hit by a projectile, the death ray, or alien in the road, your car will be damaged, uh, impairing control. Gotcha. You may be lucky enough to cl can c collect a wheel wrench, which will restore the car. It is also possible to collect gallons of gasoline. They give you more points. Gotcha. Despite everything, it is inevitable you will at some point be abducted by the UFO. Oh, no. And after three <laughs> abductions, you will move to the second screen slash level. So you will die. Dying okay. is kind of the point okay. to get to the next level. But I guess you want to get as many points as you can before dying. Oh, gotcha. And go into the, That's interesting. It's a forced push to the next level. So sorry. If you want an extra challenge at this stage, when starting with three lives, use this game select switch to change the difficulty before using the horn to start. What are you looking up? Avoid everything. And collect the wrench mm. or the gas. So three abductions, okay. Yep. The rock. There you are. Oh, you have to use the horn to start. There you go. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Avoid the aliens. It's just dodge, yeah. Yeah, dodge everything. Oh, the UFO comes down. And it's shooting as well. Ah. Oh, that's gasoline, I'm guessing. Cute. Good, like the good, trees. Good trees, good road, where it's a yellow line. And the UFO, UFO is very uh, sparkly. <laughs> and uh, octopus aliens as well. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, you gotta, I guess, hang back when the UFO disappears. Um, because you know that's when the alien on the road is coming. But you also want to stay away from where the UFO is above you. I haven't seen a... Oh, my God. That's the death Okay. <laughs> when you're like, I haven't seen that, and there and it is. there it is. You really got to stay up. Oh, oh, that's one abduction. 
scrolling <laughs> trees are excellent, Carl G. Yeah, yeah, I they love are the trees. Really, really good. It's all done with Playfield, it's lo it looks like. Nice sparkly stars in the sky. Ah. Dodgy, dodge, dodge. I'm guessing it just gets harder and harder to avoid the death ray yeah. and the shots as time goes on. Like, oh. oh, yeah, never go, so that, never be in the middle when he comes down. So you're almost forced, like you are forced to go to the next. Oh, honk the horn. Honk the horn. What is the honk horn honking? Uh, nothing. It's just for fun. Ah. <laughs> oh, he got me. Uh, oh, the woods. Don't no, press that anything. Didn't take very long. <laughs> don't press anything. At the last. I'm oh. not touching anything. Okay, don't press it. Kay. At the last moment, Bruce managed to jump out of the abducted car and Woo! falls into the woods, as we just saw. Now his goal is to escape the aliens who are relentlessly chasing him and avoid other challenges in the forest. Eventually, you'll find a cabin that can be your safe haven. Will it? Mm -hmm. The joystick moves Bruce sideways. The bu fire button makes him jump. Bruce can also climb stairs. Just move the joystick up. Okay. In this level, five items are spread out. They'll give you a higher score if you manage to find them all. Randomly, in place of one of the items, you'll find a key. It may be your only way to enter the cabin. Items are to be collected are the suitcase, the camera, uh, the record player, telescope, and the phone. And so-called mysterious objects can also be found around the scenery. Mm. So, there you go. I guess... Oh, oh, you control it. I thought it was going to be an endless runner. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I'm guessing you don't collect that. Oh, he resets. That's good. Oh, that was very close. This one you're going to have to jump over when he's low. Oh, he jumped over when he's high. Still worked. Uh, that's a Donkey Kong barrel. Which you want to avoid. Oh, you got hit at right at the end. Yeah. That's so you the... don't have the key. Oh, this is like an RPG almost, actually. Oh. What? Oh. Do I have to find things? Yeah. It doesn't say... It says you just run into them. So maybe you have to find them? Maybe you have to go the other way. Yeah. Go in the house? Oh, she didn't have the key yet. Oh. Oh, ah! my God. You are about to lose all your lives. Down to one again. So, see if there's anything this way. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he's on the ground now. Lots of aliens this way. Gonna die. Oh! Oh, oh it starts you over with three lives. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there you go. Oh, they chase you. Oh my god, that's the end. Oh no. Where's the stuff? Where's all the stuff? I don't understand. Where's the stuff? What's the building by the bear? That's for sure the cabin, right? Or is it? Go into the house. Go into that building by the bear. By the there's a building by the bear. <laughs> yes, you were concentrated on the building. I didn't on think the bear, it was a I building. Mean. I thought it was a. Ah. Uh. Ah! I didn't think that was a house. It looks like one. Is that bear from Frostbite? Press up. No. Stairs. Oh, it says you go upstairs. That's right. But I haven't seen any stairs yet. Hmm. Try the hole. Oh, really? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, go down the hole? Yeah. Oh. oh, that's tricky. That is tricky. So it's multi-level. Ah, <laughs> the bear got me. Oh, oh, it automatically starts you over at the the level you're on. Oh, you're falling. Oh, it's dark. You need a torch. Oh, yeah. my God. That's scary. Lightning. Oh, oh, spiders. Cool. It is like an RPG. Oh, another hole. Oh, it's oh, a ladder a back ladder. up, but you don't want to go back up unless it goes somewhere else. Do I want to go down the hole or will it keep uh, me? You haven't gone all the way to the right. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Just... Oh, telephone. Well, that's one. Uh oh. Wow, this is extensive. <laughs> this is very big. Oh, two of them. Ooh, are you going to have to go in the middle? Uh, I think you can make it through. Ooh, just barely. There's a ladder. RC70 said that was scary. Oh, it got me! You can phone home now. Well, ET can phone home, so we have to find. Well, those extraterrestrials can phone home, I guess. Wait, did we just fall down a pit and get a telephone piece? Yeah. <laughs> That's very true nostalgia. What did you just get? I missed it. I don't know. It was this. It was something? a blue thing. <laughs> it was a blue thing. 
A uh, record player? A camera? Telescope? Could be Telescope, maybe? I don't know. Was it long and pointy, or was it just a block? Oh, that was like... Was it a block? You can't remember. No, it wasn't a block. Oh, okay. That's it up. Oh, yes, getting E.T. flashbacks, but not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah! no! Yeah, that's, okay. that's a you, problem. You do hit a wall sometimes. This is fun. It's, there's I'm a not lot sure how many on. levels I've gone down yet. Yeah, you may have to climb up a way back up. Oh, oh I got get in the house Woot. now. That's good. Yeah. But you've collected two other items? I don't know. You're not keeping track? Well, no, I, I've died, got, but I don't... Oh. No, I don't, I think, don't think I've think started, started over. over. No. So you've got two items. Yeah, I think so. I do have the key. So should I go up? Oh, oh. telescope. That's a telescope for sure. So you've got three Kay. items. Four. Oh, okay. Four. How uh, many are there? Five? Uh, four. Camera, record player, telescope, Okay, I phone. feel like I've gotten them all, so... Okay. We definitely have the key, which is needed uh -huh. to... Uh, oh, frightening. With the key only, you can open the cabin. Yes. It doesn't say... Oh, it doesn't say that you need the items. It just you get points for the item. So the key is the key to get it to the cabin. Now, I don't think she got a fourth either. I got four. Not including the key? Not including the key or including the Not key? Not including the key. Because there's five items it says. Oh. Uh, no, including camera, the key. Camera, record player, telescope, phone, and the key. Oh, shoot. That's okay. You don't need it to get in. Oh! No key anymore. <sighs> Just fall down the pits all no, the way no. to the bottom. No. Yep. Just fall. You want to play? You I can. Play? You take them. So we're here to show the I levels. Got. I'm awkwardly tense as Ron Gassler. Oh, I fell it down is. a hole and I couldn't even see the hole. It was in a flashing area. Yeah, you got to watch out for those frightening uh, aliens. There you go. That's a camera. Is that what you got? I got that. Okay. I got something red. I got something... I got the key and something white. I'm just going for... the key. Oh, did, what? No. I, I got no. hit. Did you? Yeah. Doesn't take much. No. Go for the key. It's like the items the are always level. on the right, I right? We're making James play a dark maze. Ha ha ha! Pretty linear. Yellow. Luckily. I guess it's a maze. Yeah, it kind of is. I don't have to bottom? remember where things there are. Go. Yeah, key. You're not getting anything else? Don't care. Just going for the key. Because the other things are points. True. If we're going for a high score, then I'd start over. Well. Isn't the whole point to get a good high school? Uh, point is to survive. <laughs> ah! I think. I think oh. it's the other way, actually. Is it? Yeah. It's on the other I'm side. gonna jump over the middle because there was one hole in the dark. Yeah, that's crazy. This isn't it, though. I think this is the last. Oh, yep. Okay. Run, 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 run! run, run. Whoa! Still have two lives, so as long as you make it to the next level, I think it. Uh, jump, 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 jump. That really looks like um, frostbite bear. <laughs> Who's throwing that barrel? Oh my God, it's a trap! The cabin. Ah. Oh, oh my God. Uh oh. Okay, uh, it's already started. I'm gonna die. Oh, it gives you three lives. Uh, oh, I didn't read this tip. Uh, when coming across an alien, go back to the previous screen and turn again. The creature's position may be different and therefore you'll be able to pass through more easily, but don't abuse it. The cabin. Once inside the cabin, Bruce thought he was safe, but he had no idea strange things would start happening there. When looking at the paintings on the wall, our hero begins to see seawater spurting out of the frame. The phone suddenly rings. The telescope provokes curiosity. Alien figures run across the floor and Bruce begins to doubt his sanity. Oh my god, the clock. Ah, your brain is being eaten! Um, at, at that moment he sees coins around the room and like every salaryman in this world, he can't resist collecting them as the debts pile up. 
If you lose all three lives, you go into madness mode. And to prevent Bruce from losing his mind, you have to frantically move the controller from side to side in the best decathlon style. Ah! It's because they come from the right, you can't hang out on the right. Ah. Uh, That's what The commands are similar to those of the previous level, but it's also... Oh my god. We're left and right, left and right, left and right. Fend off the madness. Fend off the madness. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, you want that, right? That seems to give me something. Uh, the, it's possible to jump and duck in the air. This can be useful at times. As before, your efforts will be inevitable. Uh, Bruce will be defeated and taken to where he never imagined. Oh my god, the floor is opening up. Oh yeah, just keep jumping. Oh my god. Telephone? Yeah, you have points for that. <laughs> the clock. The clock. All these makes a little bit more sense. You can't do anything. A little bit more sense when you watch the movie. Not much more, but a little bit oh more sense. God. The madness. Oh my god, I'm just my time. I don't think any other 2600 game has used madness as <laughs> something that happens to you. Ah, the clock! Looks like the first sprite I ever got to read there. Hatted Man from the book programming in the 2600. I can see why it's inevitable, because the floor just keeps opening up. Ugh. No, I can't do anything about it. Just when the madness. The madness uh, hits. Oh, the madness. <laughs> so if I let the madness not get too high, then... I guess that's when you die. Or do you, you just keep eventually your score. die? Maybe the floor just opens up too Yeah, crazy. I think you might be right there. Oh. Yeah, you lose a life going down there. Yummy, yummy brains. Oh. Inspired by it's eternal darkness. It is. There's a lot going on. Let the madness take you this time. Yeah? yeah let it take you. Let oh, he's all red. You. He's going mad. Ah. The space journey. The UFO takes off and abducts Bruce for further experiments. <laughs> How could it go up into the sky? And now you control the ship. The invaders, satisfied with their specimen and psychological alteration experiment, return to the planet. Uh, to relay the findings and to finally beginning the alien uh, invasion of Earth and the alien holocaust. In this level, your objective is to dodge the asteroid clouds and as a bonus, uh, destroy the primitive satellites of the human. The joystick moves the UFO, and when satellites appear, the button can shoot a laser beam to destroy them. In order to reach your destination, you will need to go through ten wormholes. What? If you miss any, don't worry. It's still possible to reach the planet, but don't miss more than five. In that case, you'll be adrift for in space forever. Is that the wormhole? There yep. we go. There we go. Is that the first one? I hope so. Space Beast Worm. It is a beast worm. It's all about the bees. Ah! <laughs> we had to deal with bees in Hero 2 last time. Yes, we did. They were deadly. That's a unique twist, avoiding, avoiding the aliens, then playing as them. Yeah, I like that. Can you think of another game where you play one side and then the other in the same string? I think that's string? pretty cool. I know there's lots of games where you can play either side. Like, um... At aliens versus predator games. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you can play you like can it's the marine or the alien or the predator, something like that. Um, but playing both sides in the same. What? I hit him. You're supposed to collect them. Aren't those your mm, your know. dudes? No, those are the satellites. Doesn't say. Oh, you can okay. Shoot when this ah when the satellites <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> ah. <laughs> is this all the same game? Yeah, this is the fourth level of the game. Oh, I see. There's your progress at the bottom there to get back home. That looks like the third or fourth. No, they're moving a lot faster. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. Stay in the middle. Always the best. There we go. That's just for points. Points are good. Both sides in the same game equals tag. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, yeah, I guess, but you're still the same person. This is like the complete, like protagonist and then you switch to the antagonist in the in the story of the game. Ah, oh, ah. No. Cute. 
Because I, I guess Bruce is dead at this point. Well, He's it's, been it's absorbed. For, for further experiments, that's what's happened. So Bruce has lost his mind, succumbed to the madness, and so you can't really play Bruce anymore. <laughs> he's just he's just insane. The stars make it feel really fast. Yeah, they're yeah, getting I like faster it. and faster. Ha, ha, ha. Satellites. Uh, I'm guessing these are satellites that are far, they're far Earth into satellites. space. Yeah, I guess so. Like, what is the... Ah. What's that, uh, really, um, one of the earliest satellites ever oh, seen Oh, you mean space. like the, uh, oh god, not, they're not satellites, they're, um... Probes? Probes, yeah. Messages? Oh. Yeah, they, they were probes, because they did get information back from them. They just aren't getting much information back they're from them. They're not satellites, because satellites orbit. That's right. Yeah, so, I think they're probes. I don't know. I don't know what you call them. Ah! One death. Not just faster, but stretched out. It's like we're accelerating with each stage. That's true. They are getting stretched out. They're like uh, four pixels wide now. Mm -hmm. Now they're just getting crazy and moving crazy. Yeah. Oh, they're ah. almost there. Like two or three ah. more wormholes. Ah. They still have two lives. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Those human satellites, they're way off in space. Ah. What are they doing oh. there? Oh, no. They come so fast now. Oh, nice uh, disintegration. Almost. Uh, Getting there. Two more, I think. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Panicking Hesitate. now. Panicking. Panic cat. It's not good. Oh, no! Is that it? My turn. I don't get to restart. To try no. level four. Thank you for playing. Bitnamic Software, a game by Fernando Salvio. That's try, a very do it small four, then. font. That's a three by three. No, four across, four high, four by four font. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I pressed it too many times. No, button masher. There we go. Probes, pioneers before Voyagers. Voyager, yeah, yes. Voyager that's... probes. Cassini is the only probe name I can think of. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you some treaties in a second. So you can only shoot when there is. Um, the satellites on Just the, the satellites. Okay. The button. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see that purple projectile show up at the front. So. Oh. Yeah. This seems so slow when you start <laughs> over. Yeah. They come so fast. Hi, Black Cat. They don't change direction, do they? Uh, they go get diagonally sometimes. Yeah. But slow. they don't go up and then down. I haven't noticed ah. that, but, but towards the end they come really fast. See? Like, diagonal up and down yeah. sometimes. There. Nice warp tunnel. Good look to that. Asteroid clusters are practically giving, giving me jump, jump scares. scares. Yes, they are giving me jump scares. They come so oh, quick. If you survive to the uh, survive, we'll see the animated yeah. end. I think you can make it. We'll it seems it. it seems doable. Oh it's, yeah. It, it does definitely get harder, but it's it's definitely it's very fast. Yeah, they're tiny little it's dots. Very doable. Single pixel dots right yeah. now. Stars. Oh, now it's going faster. Oh, for a second it was. Mm. Oh! Wait a second. What? If I hang back here, look at the stars. Then I move like this. Does that make oh, me move faster? Maybe, yeah. Or is that just like... No, it looks not. like it. When you're moving forward, they go... They, they elongate. Mm. You're speeding up. But if I stay still here, it doesn't. Or back, it doesn't. Yeah. Interesting. That is really cool! So it sometimes is fast, it's giving but on higher levels it's constant. That is very clever. I don't know if it actually makes you finish each level faster. Oh, in the credits use up and down to see the other screen. Okay, we'll check oh, that out. Okay, okay. We'll check that out. Thank you for that hint. We want to show, as show much all as the cool can. stuff yes. in the game. I'm liking this a lot. I like that it's in four acts. <laughs> yes. Very distinct ones, too. Yeah. Like, they're all very different yeah. styles of play. Like, this is a space shooter style. Yeah. But and eventually it comes down to getting the high score. There's like a pitfall two level. Yeah. Well, I can there's move faster. There's a driving faster. level. I can move faster now. Well, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, driving level. And then, like, the single room, like, platform almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Platformer. Nice. It's like all the genres. All the genres. <laughs> all, the, all the early genres. 
of games. Halfway there. Yeah, you definitely want Get to settle now. stay center and then go down or up depending on the yep. direction it's heading in. Yep. Those falling ones look like wall crawlers from cereal boxes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I remember those. Me too. Sticky things you I, throw those on Those always the wall. gross me out. <laughs> Sticky things. <laughs> Whoa, now they're fast. Those are a nice distraction. Satellites. Oh, Let's ruin the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what they're called. What else was there? There's blobby sticky things that definitely ruin the carpet. Blobby sticky things. Oh no, they're just mushed up stuff that. Oh. You... Oh. oh no! See now it's getting fast. Now it starts to get hard. This is where I was. I was. Guess yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's hard. Gack. <laughs> Gack. Yeah. I love the graphics on this level too. It is really good. Now, now the stars are are always fast. And now it's getting hard. Warm is massive. Like it's yeah. it takes up half, like a third of the screen, I guess, vertically, of where you can move. I don't want to distract you. It's yeah. like I'll, I'll, I'll. It comes bloody fast. That was close. That one. Yeah, the diagonal ones are what get you. Because you move to dodge them sometimes, and it's Second like last level, I think. Oh my goodness. Yeah, more of those, please. Oh, just satellites. The last level, just satellites? Whoa! It's easing you into a false oh my sense God. of uh, security. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, is, is that the end? It? No, one last <gasps> one. Oh, they're not that fast anymore. They're the same speed. Bit. I think they're the same. Don't no, say that. Ah, it's Ooh, the that diagonal ones. Ah. Oh, not close enough. <laughs> Oof. Is this it? Yay! Yay! Here. The home planet of the alien invaders. Oh, get smaller. Oh, nice. Yay! Oh, off to another adventure. Oh, now it's the invasion. Ah. Oh, look at that. It's pulling away from the planet. Nice. 4400, zero, zero, a terrible score. That could be beaten, <laughs> beaten on the first level. Congratulations! Oh. End music. Do I Hold press on. the wait. button or wait? There's music. It's the same music. Do I press the button? Press the button! The end? Ah oh, there we go. This is the good ending where you win. Then up and down. There we go. Thank you for playing Bitnamic Software, a game by Fernando Salvio. Thanks to Daniela DeFarius, DeFerrier, DeFerrier, DeFerrius, Marcus, Marcus Garrett, Garrett, Renan uh, Ribeiro, Ribeiro Lima. Oh, 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 okay. That's it. Great Woo! stuff. Very diverse uh, levels. <laughs> Metal Looter, they are ready to invade us. Yay! <laughs> so this is uh, for sale right now. If you want to get it at bitnamic, B I T N A M I C dot com dot B R. And Fernando Salvio can type that out in the chat. And uh, yeah, the prices, I can't even translate them. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not going to give the up. prices, but they're on the website. Someone someone did look up the price, I think. Oh, and translated like, yeah, it to Yeah, they did earlier in the US. chat, but I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was. So. Uh, really, really fun. Yep. And you can watch the movie as well online uh, on YouTube as well. Yep. That gives you kind of a background to this and uh, yep, shows sure. you the shows you the madness that uh, uh, Bruce goes through in the in the uh, game and the movie. Good stuff. Thank you so much for letting us uh, have the uh, world premiere of this. It was very very fun. So hopefully people enjoyed that game. 
felt very cinematic in, in, yes. in how it played out too. It had so titles. Like that, yeah. It had yeah. uh, endings and cinematic little, uh, little, little animation intros and extras. Yeah, 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 very like nice. Yeah. Uh, so we're going on to our next game, which I don't, is called Yeah. I don't know if anyone is in the mood to feed some cats, but now would be a good time to do so. Yes. As we uh, get to the next game, if you got set the bits, up. if you don't, that's fine. Oh, hey, somebody's got the bits. No, thank you. No, nope, it's RC70. RC70. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you, RC70. Cats are crying. What is it? Oh, oh and catnip. Okay. Oh, Start with goodness. the treats and with the cats. Cats, 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 cats. Cat celebrations. It's a cat. Celebration. <laughs> Kitty madness. <laughs> Our dollars is how Roblox label their money. Oh, funny. Oh. Well, Do they both it? deserve it? Oh, he got it. He got it. You gonna bring the the camera down? Oh, uh, not this time. Not this time. No. Here you go. Not every time. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so I ordered another uh, power supply for oh the goodness, light Kat. that is burnt out, or the power supply that burned out. So still looks good though. We're just a little dark up here, mm -hmm. just up above. You gonna you gonna ring the bell, Atari? No, you gotta ding it, ding it, ding it. <laughs> there good we go. Good kitty, that's for you. Oh, oh, ding, ding. Beef cat time. Meow don't meow. Don't just don't just spin it. There, there you go. good kitty. <laughs> Cat, they like caught it really in the air. Good. Whack. Whack. <laughs> it's very fast. Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> oh, try again. Smack it hard. They would shake their head too. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, one more. Try one more time. Atari, one more time. Okay, that's one for you. He's like, I pressed it I though. I pressed the buttons. Okay, okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> He looks so sad. So I, I tried. I, oh. I, I pressed it. It just didn't work. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is cute. Yeah, they are, they are cute. super cute kitties. <laughs> oh, both I'll of them did it. I'll give you that one. It. Atari's having some trouble with Atari's his Atari's being too soft. He's being too gentle. He's a very gentle cat. Yeah. Uh, the money unit, I believe, is Brazilian real so dollars. Cool. Is that how you say it? Real? Real? I don't know. Real? Real? Probably real. I wouldn't say it like uh, in English. Mm -hmm. A little harder. There's two left. Ring the bell. He's going to get it. Of One course. The black kitty. Sprite gets it. Try it a little harder. Come on. Atari. Come on. Right there. Hit the bell. No, no. There you go. Okay. Take those away. And now for some catnip. Oh. Sprite's upset. He shouldn't be. He got a lot. <laughs> oh, catnip time. Yes. That's I like how right. the controller cable gives a split screen. <laughs> Here, I'll straighten it out so it's even more split screen for the, for the cats. All right. So, there you go. You want some? Oh, it's, this is Atari's jam right here. Yeah. Terry's all about this. Uh, Sprite has gotten into it a bit more. Yeah, he doesn't really... He's been experimenting. He's been sniffing it. <laughs> oh, I missed the poll, Cubanismo. Uh, sold my childhood SNES back when it wasn't worth as much. Oh, no. As I was downsiding my living space. No regrets. Played those games threadbare. On the rare occasion I wanted to play them, emulation is close enough. Yeah, yeah there's always emulation yeah. on PCs, or you can you know, buy mini ones if you want and load those up. Oh, oh. Or buy a used one. It looks oh. like he's getting his face in there. Yeah, he's sniffing it. Yeah. He's eating it. That's a lot. Oh, they that eat. That is a lot. They eat a lot. I can oh pour it back God. in. That is a lot. What did you hear? Mice? Sorry, just walked walked away. Like Don't dump it. Oh, that's a no, lot. No. In there. <laughs> That's way too much. Okay. All right. We'll the let the these cats roll around in that for a little bit. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, Mick Muse, for the catnip Mick and RC seven E. Yes. For the treat time. Thank you there so much. So, so next game is fetch. Fetch. Is it, is it a game? 
We'll see. <laughs> Is it a game? Uh, it's made by Magic Sky Publishing. He said, hi, I created a simple Atari 2600 program. What's going which... on here? Let me restart it. I think it might have been pressing in a direction. Cat, get your butt off there. Cat butt. <laughs> there we go. That's uh, better. Which simulates playing fetch with a dog in a park. There are two versions, one with a score counter, which is the one we're going to okay. be playing. Every time the dog finds the ball, and one without. Oh. Roly poly cats. You getting roly poly? Sprite isn't. Oh, he was <laughs> Atari about to. Is. Atari. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Rolling around high on the floor. <laughs> Typical Tuesday night. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Silly kitties. Yeah. Um, I planned at some point to create a deluxe version of the game which has some hazards, obstacles, and levels. Mm. But this is just a hobby for me, so it may be some time before it's published. I'd like to thank everyone involved with creating and popularizing the Batari basic language. So, throw the ball, get the ball, throw the ball. Cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. <laughs> I'm not a programmer by trade, but do have some previous experience using Visual Basic. So, using the available tutorials on Atari Basic, I was able to create my first fully functioning Atari 2600 program. The Atari 7800 was my first game console, and of course, I played a lot of 26 games, 100 games on it. So, seeing my own handiwork in that format has been a real trip. So, I was trying to think what would, what you could do with this game. Because there was this, the other game, I don't know if you played it, Dog Walk, mm. um, where you told your dog where to stand, or you f you ask him to follow you or stand in a position, remember, and things are falling from the sky. Oh, yes, 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 like yes. acid rain or something. It's yeah. quite bleak. Um, <laughs> uh, and this is another type of game where you kind of... Sh Throw, throw the ball to where you want your dog to go. Yes, and the dog chases after the ball. Yeah, and I was trying to think what you could do to make this into, like, a game. It, I mean, it's a game right now. Just a very simple kind of kid's game. Yeah, no, it's oh, yeah. kind of neat. I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah, catch the dog. Sometimes he doesn't want to give it back, or the cat steals the ball. Oh, yes. It'd be good to have a cat, so you have to avoid the that cat. Be good. And... Or you can't throw it to certain places yeah. or you could turn it into kind of a golf-ish type game where you hold down the button to throw it further or less far mm. and you have to yes you have to get the ball in a certain to... place yeah and the dog will go get it there um i'm surprised nobody has made frisbee golf yet frisbee golf oh yeah yeah right yeah it goes up mm -hmm. and down and you throw the frisbee and it acts like kind of golf but uh well i definitely I mean, it's pretty much golf i definitely think <laughs> you need to be able to choose your dog oh yes uh, that that's would be right. very dog cool. customization <laughs> yeah and small dogs maybe can't go as far but they're faster yeah something like that or, or it's keep away from another dog. Oh, yeah. Avoid interference from competing dogs. Yes. Yeah. So you throw another... the ball and the other, other dogs go after the ball. That's right. Yeah. It could be that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You can, I can think of a, some cute things you can do with that. Yeah. I'm going to show you something. Sure. You Obstacles. Can be, you yeah. can be really mean to the dog. <gasps> no. There he never gets the ball. No. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. Alien abduction, they catch the dog. <laughs> That's for right, Nando. Go. Oh, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> gonna throw it. Gonna, no, gonna throw it. Gonna th no, no, no. Oh, oh, he got it. You've been playing with this for too long. <laughs> what mean just... things can I do with the dog? <laughs> Traffic, yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> Smush dogs. What are you no. throwing your ball like, across a road for your dog to get it? Or, or just a bicycle, which is a little less mean. Okay. He gets a little dizzy if he runs into the bicycle. Oh, he's gonna get it. Or the dog's fine, uh, wanna... the cyclist gets hurt. There you oh, go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and the dog is faster than you, so you can't avoid the dog. Yeah. Like, you can't go, no, I don't want the ball. He'll always catch up yeah, to you. Yeah, that's cute. Go there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey ground oh, trooper. Oh, I can't. I can make Thank it to the other side. Thank you for Thank you so much for resubscribing. Oh, I can make it to the other side. <laughs> and the dog chases me. It's it's just cute. It's cute. Proof of concept. 
Yeah, it's more of a proof of concept. And he says he, he wants to extend the game to, to make it bigger with some obstacles and stuff. Oh, the cat is passed out. Uh, <laughs> Throw in some racing ducks. <laughs> uh, some ducks. Oh, ducks. yes. Okay, so that's the game. I just thought it's cute, and I think it needs more. It's It could yeah. be a lot of fun with some additions to it. Oh, in the decathlon, you definitely Dumb. need a frogger oh, style. Oh, ducks crossing the street. Ready. Oh, yes. For sure, for sure. Yeah, okay. obstacle. An yeah. obstacle race for it. Well, thank you for for jumping in to resubscribe, Ground Trooper. Yes, thank you so much. Could have the beach. Yes, there could be water. Oh. He could get in the water and get wet and then be <gasps> slow. Oh, that's If he runs good. through water, he's suddenly slower. It's like California games of dog <laughs> ball <laughs> yeah, throwing. Yeah. Okay, so the next game Cute. is... Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't read everything about that one. Oh, any more to say? Uh, unlike Atari game... Many Atari games, this one's not based on an arcade game, nor is it intended to be a quarter-munching stress fest. Just the opposite. Have fun throwing your ball to your dog and watching it retrieve it over and over again, just like a real game of fetch. Yeah, there we go. Cuban Ace Mill says, surfing dogs. Surfing dogs. Yeah, oh, like and then that. it gets, gets onto a surfboard. Yeah. Next one's called Snake Fiasco by Fort Apocalypse. It's a mm. work in progress. Still a 4K game. Okay. Um, so, yeah, load mm -hmm. it up. Sorry, my yawn. Oh, Here and out there. Crazy madness yeah. of this of the music. Um, a twist on the classic game of snake. You play a fun snake. Your goal is to keep moving while avoiding walls and running into parts of yourself. You can also eat yummy fruit for bonus points. This won't be easy as your body continues to grow and randomly disappear. And your snake keeps moving faster and faster. Yeah. Can you survive the snake fiasco? Directions. Press the joystick button to start. Move the joystick to change the... You know how to play snake. Go for it. Uh, move the joystick to change the snake's direction. If the snake dies, use the reset, reset switch or press the button to start over. Use the select switch at any time to change colors. Oh. Your left difficulty switch doubles frequency in difficulty change, speed and lessening of the play field disintegration as the game progresses. Right... Difficulty switch halves the rate that the playfield disintegrates. I'm guessing A would have the rate. Bonus for fruit is based on the number of steps taken since the fruit appeared. So you get more points the faster you get the fruit. Every 31 to 32 fruit, the fruit is a bomb that clears the playfield. Mm. Oh, oh, you died already? What? Died already. No, I hit left. Atari meow. Um, meow. He's they're all asleep now. This is this is a game everybody knows. It is, but it's got an interesting twist with the tail disintegrating. That's why I put it on the show because it's not just snake. It's a little I bit mean, different. He doesn't know snake. Yeah, it's probably the has the largest install base of any <laughs> any game ever. Uh, pack in game, let's say. Because it was included on all Nokia phones, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's the most ever played game, but I would say it's right up there mm. with Tetris and Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> Probably more people played this in Minecraft. Best selling game is Minecraft, I believe. Um, so uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Wikipedia says oh, no. Snake is a video game genre where the player maneuvers a growing line that becomes the primary obstacle to itself. The uh, concept originated in the 1976 two-player arcade game Blockade from Gl Gremlin, in Gremlin Industries, and the ease of implementation has led to hundreds of versions, some of which have the word snake or worm in the title. Uh-oh. Getting... Oh, it's getting fast. Where's the bomb? I don't know. You have to get a lot. Yeah, 31 or 32, it says. Oh, boy. Oh, Dad. I didn't make it to the bomb. Kind of in a corner there. Wow. Um, Meow. Okay, you continue reading about Trump. Oh, okay. I was going to... Where, 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 where? Where, where, where? Uh, not about Tron, about Snake. Just before Tron. 
Oh. 1982's Tron arcade game, based on the film, includes snake gameplay for the single-player light cycle segment. After a variant was preloaded on Nokia mobile phones in 1998, there was a resurgence of interest in snake games as it found a larger audience. Want me to go through the history? Sure. The snake design dates back to the arcade game blockade. Did you read all this already? Uh, it's reiterating a little bit. Okay. Developed and published by Gremlin in 1976. It was cloned as Bigfoot Bonkers the same year. Bigfoot Hello? Bonkers? Um, in 1977, Atari Inc. released two blockade-inspired titles, the arcade game Dominoes and Atari VCS game Surround. Surround was one of the nine Atari VCS launch titles in the U.S. and was sold by Sears under the name Chase. Hey, we played that. <laughs> that same year, a similar game was launched for the Bally Astrocade as Checkmate. Checkmate? I don't know. What a strange name for a game like this. I don't know. I don't... This doesn't sound right. Anyway, <laughs> the first known home computer version, titled Worm, was programmed in 1978 by Peter Trifonis for the TRS-80 and published by Load Magazine in the same year. This was followed shortly afterwards with versions from the same author for the Commodore Pet and Apple II. A clone of the Hustle Arcade game itself a clone of Blockade, was written by Peter Trifonis in 1979 and published by Sea Load. An authorized version of Hustle was published by Milton... Oh my goodness, what is wrong with this thing? Sorry. Um, Milton Bradley for the TIA-99-4A in 1980. The single-player Snake Bite was published in 1982 for Atari 8-bit computers, Apple II and VIC-20. A snake eats apple to complete a level, growing longer in the process. Let's do the difficulty switch. Okay. Uh, in Snake for the BBC Micro, 1982, by Dave Bresnan, the snake is controlled using left and right arrow keys relative to the direction it is heading in. The snake increases in speed as it gets longer, and there is only one life. Haynes Manual for the Atari. Yes, it's not yeah. a real manual. <laughs> it's a joke. There's a whole line of these. If you've seen Darcy, he wears a shirt yeah. for the Millennium Falcon. Oh, nice. A Haynes? Yes. Nice. Repair guide for it. Um, Nibbler from 1982 is a single-player arcade game where the snake fits tightly into a maze and the gameplay is faster than most snake designs. Another single-player single version of, uh, sorry, is part of the 1982 Tron arcade game themed with light cycles. It reinvigorated the snake concept and many subsequent games borrowed the light cycle theme. I got it. <laughs> I've got one more. I've got one more part okay. to read. Starting in 1991, Nibbles was included with MS DOS for a period of time as a QBasic sample program. Uh -huh. In 1992, Rattler <laughs> Race was released as part of the second Microsoft Entertainment Pack. It adds enemy snakes to the familiar oh, apple-eating gameplay. That's so I've switched it. Everything there is to know about snake. <laughs> difficulty A. Yeah. Which I think doesn't make your tail disappear as quickly. Oh, I see. So there's much more leftover parts, which is going to make this know. harder. I did not make it to the bomb. No, the bomb's the like one. 20 or 30, isn't 31. it? That's a lot. It is a lot That's of apples. That's a lot of apples. Oh, no. It's okay. Just have to loop back. But is there one for the Nintendo Switch? <laughs> hmm. If there isn't, someone should make one. It's an opportunity waiting <laughs> to happen there. Yes. No snake for the Switch. Oh. Ooh, bomb! Nice. I think this is the easier okay, level. Okay, keep playing. Because it's not as fast. It looks easier. Why did you make A easier? <laughs> A is advanced, B for beginner. No, isn't A easier? No, it's never easier. By just... The, the the rule of thumb is B is beginner, A is advanced. I mean, some people don't follow that because you can make the switches anything you want. You can make the color black and white switch, the reset switch if you feel like it. Where's the apple? Ah, ah, there's no apple. It's probably trying to place it where the snake uh, tail is. What, am I, what is going on? There's no apple. Oh, there we go. I wonder if those counted against me for amount of time. There it is, yeah. There, though there is one for the Switch, eh? Yeah. Is it like a super advanced version of uh, Snake for the Switch? Oh boy, this is getting challenging. I'm gonna go up. Not much room left. 
The apples are nice. I wonder why he chose to use a yellow stem instead of a green stem or brown stem. They're yellow stemmed apples. There's not going to be much room for the apple to... Oh, now it's getting fast. Apple to appear. Oh, it died. It died? Oh my god, it was getting fast. Oh no. So, uh, I thought it was a really uh, interesting uh, twist on Snake. Uh, where it leaves trails and leaves bits yes. all over the place. So yes. 3D snake. Snake versus snake snake is one of many. Okay, so there's lots for the Switch. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, that's available in the Atari Age forums if you wish to play it. It's got a number of options. Um, and so now for the last game, it's called Top and Tom. And it's actually a port of a game. And I didn't know it was a port of a game until today. Oh. Uh, when I was doing a little bit more research on it. Um, so let's just take a look at the port of it. Or the original, uh, the original. game of it. And the original games for Windows and... Um, oh, one second, changing the graphics up. For Windows and Mac. Go to the YouTube. Uh, no, let's not do that. <laughs> let's go to that and make it small. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, so this is the original. Oh, it's locked. One second. Top and Tom, two bots on the road. So this is the original version of it. So you can play with the mouse or up and down. So it's, oh, that was terrible. Maybe I should use a keyboard. Yeah, there we go. So you have to hop over things. And if you press up, you hop up. And oh. then you press down after hopping up. Oh, so you hop up? Oh, oh my up. goodness. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, this one starts over. So you have to do the tutor do it over tutorial again? all over again. Some are higher. So you have to bounce him down. Yeah, the bottom one you can't just press down. And you can pull him up, I now see. We're so it to, if there's an orange one first... You have to jump first. You have to jump the top one first. And the higher you jump the top one, the higher the... Well, it seems kind to be of. able to do the big jump fairly easily. Okay, I get now, it. I get it. I'll let you know right now that this Neat, is much right. easier than the 2600 version. Oh, oh okay. my god. Okay, so there's, there is, uh, there's that version of the game. That so it doesn't make the noise in the background. Uh, so let's load up the 2600 version of this. Atari Oculus. Ready. And boom. Boom. Spicewear says, neat. That's what I thought when I saw it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's going on the next show for sure. <laughs> so this first posted September 16th, uh, 2022. This builds from the same date. Uh, it's a 4K game by Nick Sherman, uh, known as Arlasoft. Uh, yeah, this is much harder. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Even getting over the box! Uh, he says, after spending the past few years writing C64 and Ch Fairchild Channel F games, I finally got round to giving uh, the 2600 to go. This is my first attempt, so I kept the scope deliberately small and knocked this up over the last few days. It's a bit rough around the edges, but I've learned enough from the project in terms of what's possible to begin planning something more ambitious. Oof, just barely. Um, so from the itch.io site, where you can download this from... Oh, I'm just too... No, it's hard. It's hard, hard, hard. Oh, man. It's timing. There's a big timing. I think, I think something needs to be worked out with the timing. <laughs> like, to... Because... 
either the background has to go faster or your jumps have to be slower. Right. Because it seems really tightly timed, especially on yeah. the bounce down. That needs something for sure. Also, you can retract by pushing down after you go up. If you need to. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh, it's so hard to clear it. Yeah. Carl G says, fun graphics. It's really cool. Cardboard box says, ooh, this looks nice. It's oh. really cool and perfectly suited for oh, I don't the 2600. But it changes up every time, too. Yeah, it's totally which, different. Which means that you can't memorize patterns or anything. <laughs> which is good. Well, it, it doesn't definitely start off easy, makes it different. Different, yeah. Oh, and the longer you enough. hold, the bigger the jump. The initial version is NTSC only. I'll be working on making a PAL compatible version in the coming days. I'll also replace the music, uh, which is a demo tune from TIA Tracker, apparently. Oh my goodness. Um, with a version of the original game's tune once I've got a hang of that. So controls, uh, begin game as fire, up makes the top blue jump, and Tom, orange, return to the ground. Hold to jump higher. Down makes top slam to the ground quickly and bump Tom downwards. Uh, how to play. The aim is to help both bots avoid the obstacles for as long as possible. Nice. Uh, top can only avoid them by jumping. Tom can only avoid them by being bumped downwards by Tom. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. It's, that's really hard. I, I, I don't even know how to do that. Nice. The height of your jump is determined by how long up is held. Choose the right time to slam top down to bump Tom under the obstacles. Ten points are awarded regularly as the bots move forward. Bonus points between 100 and 2500 are awarded for each set of obstacles cleared based on how difficult they are to traverse. The music is great too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, temporary music that he uh, that's from a TIA tracker. It's very very good music. Uh, you, Sometimes it doesn't go. Because you didn't bump him. I you did. let the blue just fall uh, No, no, but I did. I oh, just didn't late. time it. I timed it too oh, late. Okay. Oh, that's really hard. That's hard. You have that's to go up, really... down, up, down, up, down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very, very Tip, hard. there's more leeway to the collection oh, collision detection on the way up than there is on the way down. So if anything... Let it linger a little bit further on the way up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It still pulls back. See, I went through that. I don't think that was correct. Sometimes you kind of go through it, and sometimes it oh, stops what? you. Oh, really? Yeah, I had one, and I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I went through that. Maybe it's the green ones. You have to do it so early. It's like sometimes you feel you want to redo it. Let me get do one more. You want to redo it because you want to practice, yeah. but then it comes up with something completely different. <laughs> yes. It's really frustrating. But I'm guessing there's a set number of patterns. Like it does look like it. You've seen the similar ones over yeah. and over again. It Sometimes does Sometimes devs accidentally make the games too hard because they get too good at them while developing. Yeah, exactly, because they practice on it yeah, over true. and over. They have the most practice out of everyone. I, f I would like the background to be a touch faster. I actually think that would be easier. Mm, yeah. Because I, I feel like it's hard to time. It pulls back so quickly. Oh my god, that one's hard. Yeah. Actually, the That's wide ones hard. are really hard. Barely cleared that. It's really hard to clear them properly. It's cool, though. I like it. I, and it works ah. really well in the 2600, yes. in my opinion. I think it works really well. It does. And I'm, it's super cute. Even the chunky movement of the play field. It's for, perfect. It's, yeah. It works just fine. Oof. That's a tough one. You have to delay it. Really long. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, what score was that? <laughs> that was probably pretty good. Oh. 
that's the longest you can go. That. Is that wide one? I think is the biggest you can clear because you're just barely clearing them. Oh, so that's hard. So uh, that one very tall. Yeah. Oh, See, I've done that a few times. I think times. I've got to do a double on that one. Too oh. late. <laughs> yeah, it would be easier to have some easier obstacle patterns so that you get used to the controls. Yeah, like a progression. Like there's... It gives you easy ones at first. Yeah. Then on the second level, it, it gives you easy and harder. I, I think it can still swap up. Um, oh, I don't know. I would assume it could still swap up different patterns. Like it doesn't have to be the same pattern, but it'd be nice if there was a set of easy patterns and then it gets harder. Like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A progression. Because it is more challenging because it is random. Like what pattern set it picks. Oh, it definitely should be still random, but picking from a like subset. It. A subset of easy to hard or yeah. yeah. Because in the, in the higher levels, it could be just like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like a mm. string of them. It is an interesting mechanic, RC70, that you can't go down without going up first. But yeah. it actually, <laughs> it feels like you, you're you controlling the top guy. Ah. Yeah, you're controlling the top guy. And so, not the bottom one, and so you can only get him to go down if you bounce him downwards. It kind of, it, it feels right, like it, it feels organic. It does after a while. Yeah, um, it, it's neat though. A little bit of glitchiness, but it's already been addressed in there. I the also forums. like to see lives and checkpoints. Yeah, I think, I think. Lives will be very Yeah, good. so that you don't get penalized ah. so hard for one mistake, yeah. I kind of feel like if it's an endless runner, it can be, it should be like a set pattern that increases in difficulty if you're yeah. only going to get one life. Yes. Because it's too hard. <laughs> yes, it is hard. But if you're going to do this where it's randomized, I actually think ah. it would be more fair if there were lives so that if you get a particularly bad pattern, you're not, you don't completely lose your entire score. I don't know. That one's so hard. Balance-wise. This one's so hard. It's so... Because you have to time two things. That one's not as tall, so it's oh. not too bad, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's hard, too. The wide ones are really hard. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that, I haven't quite gotten the... The three in the row one three down is below hard. is horrible. And the tall, tall ones are hard too. Are they? Are the now. colors? No, they're not based on height. They're just no. random. No, I think they're random. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. <sighs> just. Oh, oh too no. early. That was a good run. That was a very good run. It does feel quite organic though. I, I, I like it. After a while you understand. The, 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 you know what you need to do? The physics of it. You get it. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can do it, no. but... Uh, timing! Oh, oh my god. Oh, a tall one. Oh. The tall bottom one is really hard. Andrew says this tune is going to be bounced around my head for no reason tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, it's doing so well. Oh, no. It's addictive. It's a one more try game. You just want to keep doing it. I think with pro a progression... 
progressive difficulty, I think it would be even better. And lives. I mean, that's not what the original one is. Mm. But the original one did have a graduated approach. It got harder and harder. Mm. And this one just throws you into the thick of it. it well, uh, yeah. Uh, Use some different sounds for the shapes could be a help. Yeah, that would be kind of neat if it made a different noise depending on the shape you were passing over. Or... Yeah, I mean it's using fun. all the channels for the sound. Though. Does it? I like the, I like the music. I yeah. do like the music. I don't know if I'd want to sacrifice the music for different like jumping sounds and mm -hmm. block sounds. I don't know. It could be an option mm -hmm. if there's enough room. It's a 4K game, mm. but it doesn't seem like it would be like a lot. Um, mm. a lot of room used up in it. There's some, there's some physics going on, but mm. <laughs> throws you right into a hard one. Broke ten thousand on the last one. Oh, nice. Um, so you can download this, uh, download this game in the Atari Age, but as a link to his itch.io site. On the, but it is in the Atari Age forums. Top and Tom. Oh, we gotta go over a big one. Not enough. Yep, so you have to go high to do the the bottom guy to go high as well. Could cut out one of the music channels whenever there's a sound effect. It's true, it would be cutting it out well, maybe not too bad. Oh come That's, on! That, the, one of my, the that was jump. cheap. That was cheap. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh. That's hard. Oh, oh, those wide ones. Especially after another one. Yeah. There's a couple glitches in the game, as you can see on the screen. It like shows something on the left before it appears on the right. Oh, come on, I pushed down. Not early enough. Um, but it's fairly stable for the most part. Oh, not oh. too late. The animation is great. Like, oh, I hate that if you don't quite... Four... Oh. Four frames of animation, I think? Yeah. As you can see on their legs, it's going around in a circle. And there's a spot that's missing. Or have a pool of different music loops and each one associated with a different pattern of blocks. That's the best suggestion yet. Oh, I see. Where the music is progressive. Oh, Just that fight. is a hard combo. It is. A wide block and then a tall on the oh. bottom. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, oh. man. Oh, Doing worse now. Oh, that's uh, a hard it, one. It's when you, you don't smack it well enough. Yep. Just smack it down. Whack. Oof. That was barely a pass. Yep. Oh, come. You made that. Lies. Vicious lies. lies. <laughs> All it's missing is moving walls. Oh, boy. That's what you need. Moving oh, walls. My goodness, yeah. <laughs> it's hard enough already. Things could be flying across. Yeah, they could be. And you have to jump over them on either side. That yeah. would be a good bonus level. Oh no, a good bonus a level would be collecting coins was as there... they pass above so or below you. The one you were showing was yeah. in. Oh. It's a Windows. Uh, the Windows version. one had ducking, so you had to get it down to get underneath. Oh, it something. did have ducking at one point because the block was shifting. Yes. So you. So it is missing that in this. Because right now, the game is assuming that everything starts in the line and moves up. I don't know if his engine would have to change a lot. Oh, oh, come on! Change a lot to account for that. But it would just have to, like, offset a bit. Like, start, don't draw until. Oh, see, Dude. I wait. You have to bounce again. Is there more or less force the way you time it? Yes. The higher you go on the top, the higher the bottom guy goes when you hit him. Yeah. If you only go up a tiny bit, the bottom guy can only go up a, go down a tiny bit. Oh, come <laughs> on! That one's the hard. It's the wide ones are 
challenging for sure. Yeah. Jump, jump. Yay! <laughs> Oh. oh, too early. I do find the score because it, it's variable depending on on how complicated. Yes. <sighs> I guess. And sometimes my score is way higher than I would expect it to be. Because um, you did a combo. Yeah. Like the points go up quite a bit for difficult jumps. Yeah. Somebody said I got 10,000 ones. Which... Yeah. I can see it. I yeah. can see it if you get enough. You already did three. Oh. That one I do. That was a hard one. You can't one, practice underneath. it either. You can't practice it, which is the hard. No. Well, the whole thing's a practice. Maybe the collision could be more forgiving. It seems like you just clip the corner and it's game over. Yeah. Yeah, either more forgiving or those need to be saved for yeah. higher levels. Is that? <sighs> that Ooh. one. That one right there is super hard. Yeah. 7,000. Oh, that's the high score. Oh. 6,000? Somebody said I got need 10. to practice that. Hmm. Maybe only... That's weird. You, six, seven has been the highest so far. You didn't get 10. Someone else got 10. Oh, someone else got 10. Oh. Oh, old style oh, broke 10. <gasps> no, he said I broke. I did it. Oh. On oh, what? my goodness. On the three, I did the massive oh. three. No! <laughs> that was going high so score. well. You got high score. Okay. Now I got to beat it. My 7,000? Yeah. You gotta get the three at the bottom. Oh, this black cat's so passed full. Out. He's passed out. He's so full of treats. Uh, Are you a treat cat? How much did you get for that? The three in a row you get a ton for. Oh, way too early. Not hard enough. <laughs> I believe RC70 pressing up does make the orange get closer to the middle. If you're jumping with the blue, it pulls the orange in. Sorry? If you jump up with the blue while the orange is down, it pulls it in faster. Do you think that's true? If you're jumping up with the blue. Yeah. And you pull down. No, okay, go down with the orange. Yeah. Now go... Way down? Yeah, now if you try to pull up as he's down, does the orange go in faster? Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. You can you can yeah. retract either one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Carl. Have a good night. Thanks for joining. Oh come on! I cleared it. <laughs> Instant replay on that one. <laughs> lies, vicious lies. Oh. have to go down. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm retracting. Yeah, but the orange doesn't have to go down. You just have to go up, up, up with the blue. It's all uh, on your side. But, yeah. You but, don't jump higher. No, I'm not trying to jump higher. I'm You're trying just practicing. to retract so I can jump the next one. You don't have to retract the orange, though. You're kicking down on the orange. And you, you just needed the blue, didn't you? Uh, the, the side effect of pulling down on the blue, like, you have to pull down to, to go high it, and quick. Like, you don't have to pull down. Mm, you know. just stop pushing up uh, for you the three. You slowly. Uh, no. If you want. No, if you, if you don't That's, jump as high. See how fast that is? Yeah, but you don't, you don't jump as high. You can actually clear it, the three, without yeah, the retraction. So. If I just jump a little bit on yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Is that, that's all I'm saying. Is oh, you don't okay. need to bounce the orange one down. Sorry, don't. I'm not trying to destroy it. Ah! I wonder if this is using hardware or software collision. Uh, I don't see any reason for it to not use hardware collision. Because there's nothing else to interfere, really. Like, it, it would be more it really simplistic to use hardware. I would think he did use that. But you never know. Oh, 
Oh, you're gonna get there. You did. Eight. Good. Oh, here we go. Oh, eight, nine, six, zero. That's a good score. Okay. We'll retire on that one. <laughs> he always retires on his high scores, you know. Unless you want to try and beat it. No, I'm okay. okay. I'm, I'm good with my 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> good stuff. Fun, 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 fun games today. Um, so today we played Alien Holocaust. Yes. Great four level game for mm -hmm. d very distinct levels. Wonderful. With yeah. very distinct genres for them. Um, then we played Fetch, which was cute mm -hmm. and could be extended further. And the developer is going to be extending it further, hopefully, when they have time, they said. Um, snakes, uh, Snake. I used a terrible font for that. Snake Fiasco. <laughs> hey, 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 wake up. I'm awake. <laughs> I was looking at this. Okay. Snake Fiasco and Top and Tom, mm -hmm. which is. An incredible uh, port of a game for Windows that you would think. Oh, he, the developer probably looked at it, went, "That's perfect for the twenty six hundred. I can make that work." Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How many? How many Atari twenty six hundred develop like like homebrew developers are like that? I can port onto the Atari twenty six, and like that's their entire motivation. They see a little game that's like oh, yeah. like on Windows or on a phone, and they're like, like totally oh, can yeah. totally do that with the hardware. There's 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 I'm sure some. There are quite a few. Not as many as that get ported from really old games as new ones. Not yeah. as many new ones, but, but it does happen once in a while. But you see the new ones, like because yeah. there are there are simplistic games for like especially mobile games. Yeah. I'm always impressed when someone's like, "Hey, that could work," <laughs> and then work and they the they make it work on the 2600. I yeah, that. that's kind of cool. Fernando Salvio says, "I believe uh, the collision is with the player. player the line. line is the missile. Yeah. I believe was it? Well. The line. Oh, the line extending them up." Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think so. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. And you can color it differently because it's past the player. Some guys talk about Doom, Doom. for twenty six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Doom for twenty six hundred. Um, is Doom one yeah. where you're walking through corridors? Is it one of those games? Yeah, you're shooting and walking through yeah, corridors. Yeah, okay. I've seen some good play field. Yeah. Uh, versions of three D mazes, and yeah. then you have the your character left over. I've seen. We've we've shown Doom on the show. It's, it's very primitive. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought it was. I loaded Top and Tom into Javatari and there were no obstacles. It's really easy and I'm really good at it. <laughs> that would be easier with no obstacles. Yep. We've seen those demos of 3D mazes. Yep, there there yep. was somebody starting it. I think it was, but yeah. I, I, I'm mazes positive we saw like a demo field. level of it and it was interesting. Yeah. Those aren't my... It's maybe it's not my the... genre of game like even in the 90s they weren't my big i although no. i did play wolfenstein yeah some some but... 3d maze games are, are cool yeah but s sometimes you you hit a limit and go you could do that on the 2600 yeah. but will it look good enough that people not familiar with the original game are going to understand what the hell's going on yeah 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 it's just <laughs> yeah. full screen madness yeah, right yeah yeah still cool yeah so, uh, what's happening coming up on the show? Let's take a look at it. It's good for me to remind myself as well. Of what's what you're doing in yeah. the next three days? <laughs> exactly, in, yeah. in three or four days. Darcy's coming though, right? Yeah, so Darcy... Oh, I have to He's change that. That is actually supposed to be 12. Yes, it's going to be Noon. during the day on Friday. The physics of Top and Tom do ne feel naturally immediately. Yes, they do. They are very natural mm -hmm. feeling. You, it, it feels like an extension almost immediately. Like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, still hard. It is, but um, it's it, it's good. Yeah. So I have an eight Atari eight bit day on Friday. It's going to be noon. I'm going to edit that right away because that's not right because mm. we switched it. Um, and with Darcy. Uh, with Darcy. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. On Friday, and then next Tuesday it's a seventy eight hundred day. Uh, we're going to be playing a game, Space Race, and some other ones. Yeah. Uh, and then the show after that, it's uh, Developer Spotlight uh, next Friday, not this one, but next Friday mm -hmm. uh, with Todd Fermansky. It is at noon again with Darcy because mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's coming back, I'm guessing. That's his normal week. That's his normal week. He's yeah. kind of flipped things he's around. He's doing a bit, something but... different. He's doing uh, something town. related, yeah, to his, his work in town, yeah. and so he'll, he'll be around. So, Friday. developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky plus yeah. Harpy's Curse exclusive world premiere for the 7800 is new game. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. Oh no, it says 2600. That is that is a lie. 
That needs to be changed. Old Style says, Rick Elias Astley worked on the 2600. It did. That's doom as possible. Yes. <laughs> I'm true. still impressed with that Rick roll. So. The music worked. The music the and the animation. dancing. Yeah. It was great. Doom rolling. Yeah. Oh, that's for the 7800. How could that go so long without being corrected? <laughs> uh, the Atari Lynx special is still being pushed, pushed, pushed because it's not working yet. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, October 7th, Load Runner 2600 exclusive world premiere. Interview with Dion Olsthorn. And then we're off to Portland Yay! to meet all of you if you're there. Portland. Woo. Yep. And then we have an Atari uh, Atari Age hi, <laughs> Zero Page Homebrew uh, Meetup at Ground Control yes. during Portland Retro Gaming Expo yes, on the Saturday there. night if you're there. Come for hot dogs. I think it's hot dogs and, <laughs> and, and arcade games. Hot dogs there? I don't know. I have to look it up again. But okay. I do remember they had like a kitchen and they had some food. So. They had some food. Yeah. yeah. So I think it cut off or have 10, your dinner and then so just come it. for the arcade. But yeah, it's kind of planned so you could have dinner if you want first. It. But there is yeah. food there till ten. I think, I think so. And they so, fries. And so that's stuff. Saturday night. We'll be yeah. on there for eight to midnight when they close. And um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Yes. For the whole thing, I'm really excited. Thing. Oh yes. And this little kitten's excited too. Are you coming to PRGE? No. Oh, they oh. won't let us let let us take him across the border. You have to do a lot of paperwork to yeah. bring little he, black cats. He, he across would have the to be locked in a cage for a month. Plus, so. he's preparing for Halloween. Oh, he is. He yes, is. he's getting very excited he about is. it. He says, it is his time. Yes, he says it's only a month and a half away. Yeah. Just over a month. Uh, he has a lot to prepare in the house in yeah. his costume. Yes. Which, he doesn't need a costume. Well, he's gonna, the one person who doesn't need a costume. clean and clean yes. and, and make sure his costume's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but he is already wearing it. He is wearing it already. Yeah. It is basically black cat time, so. So expect lots of cute pictures. Yes. <laughs> of a lot of close-ups of this little black fluffy Halloween cat. And an cat. orange pumpkin. And an orange pumpkin. Oh. oh, he's biting me now. Vicious cat. Oh, vicious. Yes, you are. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Friday. Oh. So I hope you enjoyed the games today. Yep. Uh, and you can... Uh, Download or buy them all. I have a cat named Brienne. Someday we'll, we'll do, do a, a game, game with, with her. her. There Fernando you go. Fernando says, yes. we need more cat games. We do need more cat games. They're it's always not good. not enough cat games. No. There's lots of games with dogs. There's some games with cats, but we need more cat games, well, I think. Well, ZPH the game has two, two cats. cats in it. Two so cats. that helped a lot. Yes. Bring up the cat. The cat meter. <laughs> cat meter of cat games, but still need more. Yeah. More cat games. Yes. <laughs> There's lots you can do with cats in video games. Oh, I know. Yeah. They're so cute. Yes. Okay, so we're out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for watching. Fernando Salvio, ding ding cat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and thank you for letting us play your uh, really fun game. It was very fun. Uh, Spiceware, Chelsea Donnie Mao, RC70, Nostalgic Old Style, um, a cardboard oh, box. Lots of names today. Carl yeah. GS on there. Rendered Ghost, Cubanismo. I probably said that before. Chalcedony Mao. Packer VG, Huge Ass. Yes. Cube, uh, Rod Kastler, 2D. Ground Trooper popped in there. Rendered uh, Ghost, if I didn't say his name. Uh, I said name. his name, I think. Uh, uh, McMuse. McMuse, Metal Lunar 7. Probably saying the same ones over and over. <laughs> Miss Command. Miss Command. Good to see Beer you. Beer Pocock. Rod Castler. Oh, Carl G. Bratwurst Sausage. Arena Foot. Oh, and that's the end. So see many. If, see if anybody got in at the last second. No, no new ones. Danny C. Okay, so we'll be back on Friday with Darcy with some Atari 8-bit games, and we will see you then. Bye-bye. Say bye, cats. Bye-bye. <laughs>